What's going on, Kevin? My man, we got us a song today. You hear how the kick is all covered up? Um, that's what we're gonna do with side chaining is duck down the other instruments and let the kick come through. You hear it on every EDM track out there and it really gives the sound a nice bounce. Um, but first, we're gonna talk about compression real quick. I just have a simple fruity compressor on the master channel uh, and this is just making it a little punchier. Look up all the knobs and settings on compressors, do some research. Uh, there's a lot more you can learn from uh, each individual setting than I could tell you in this video. Um, so that's a compressor and uh, here's with it off and here's with it on. a subtle punch all right so to get into side chaining what do we got to do um, first you got to route your tracks to the mixer so if you select a track click an empty mixer track hit control L you automatically link it to the mixer and you name it and color it which is really nice um, to, to be able to do show Let's add a limiter, fruity limiter. This also has a compressor and allows you to do side chaining. Uh, the fruity compressor is the older version and doesn't have side chaining, so keep that in mind. I almost always use the fruity limiter. So let's uh, check out this box here. It says side chain and allows you to pull in another track from the mixer. Um, there's nothing there because there's one other step we have to do first which is to go to the track that you want to send to another track and right click the track you're sending it to and you can route the audio or you can just route the data which is uh, essentially side chaining it's just routing the data of the kick into another channel and then allowing that channel to do something with it with its plugin so we're going to come back here right click the side chain and click kick um, and let's hear uh, what's going on now. So I just muted the pad so we can focus on the kick and the, and the bass. So there's nothing going on yet. So we need to lower the threshold. And this tells the uh, fruity limiter when to start doing something. And then the ratio is going to tell it to how much to do to it. And essentially, when we're side chaining, tip is to instead of having two separate effects doing the same thing is going to uh, route both of them to the same channel and then you want to do route to this track only so you don't have it going to the master before it goes to the side chain um, same thing on the pad and route to this only so they're both going into channel 9 We'll call it the side chain channel. And then we'll pop that limiter on here. 
and I'll use my preset again. And then of course we'll route the kick to the side side chain into that. And I'll take these guys off for now so you can hear that it does the same thing. <laughs> with the bass included, but if you have a lot of synths and a lot of pads and other things going on, you can group those together and sidechain them all at the same time and save a lot of your CPU. Uh, and the bass you would normally want to do separately because it is a little more tricky to get the right mix between kick and bass, uh, as you probably already know. So that's all I got for you. Um, give me a call or a text if you uh, have any more questions about it, but definitely do some research on compressors. All right, man. Later.